Hi everyone, we're going to be studying Marc Chagall and he was born in 1887 and passed in 1985. His real name was Moses and he painted these beautiful dreamlike landscapes and figures. He went to art school but his parents really didn't want him to go because they didn't really believe in art or visual representations of anything in life. So they didn't want him to be an artist and they certainly didn't want him to go to art school. Also, he was really shy as a child. He had a stutter and he was very timid. So they didn't want him to stray too far away from the family home, but he was really determined. So he went to art school and someone there really loved his artwork and decided to support him. They gave him an allowance every month so that he could go to France, he could go to Paris. He was born in Belarus. So he went to Paris and he went and stayed in an artist residency called the Beehive. And it was only because this supporter gave him an allowance every month that he was able to do this. He was still really, really poor. So he ate half a herring fish a day and he painted naked so that he didn't have to spend money washing his clothes or buying new clothes. Through his art, he wanted to discover the meaning of life. He was really inspired by Fauvism and the Fauvist artists like Henri Matisse and André Duran. And it was Picasso that came across Chagall's work and really loved it. He really admired the dreamlike landscapes and figures, and he really enjoyed the way that Chagall tried to access his inner child and paint in the way of a child, which Picasso was all about. That was his, his big aim. So the two became friends and rivals, but Chagall had to go to New York. He was shipped out there because of the World War and he didn't really like New York. So although it was good for his artwork and for getting his name known and his artwork known, he really didn't like it. And he painted New York in very deep, dark, dreary colors. But he did become famous. And unfortunately, he really didn't like being famous. He didn't like being in the spotlight. And he was still very timid. He was very shy. And remember, he had that stutter from when he was younger. So yeah, he didn't really like the spotlight. Once he became famous, he painted things like stained glass windows and the ceilings of opera houses. And he even exhibited his work in the Louvre. He was one of the only artists who exhibited in the Louvre whilst they were still alive. Everyone else had passed away already. And in 2017, he sold one of his artworks for $28.5 million. Very, very expensive artwork. I'm sure he would have been very, very pleased. And I'm sure that all those years spent in, in poverty when he was eating half a fish a day and painting naked to save money. I'm sure that he would have loved to have known that his painting sold for $28.5 million. So let's get started. You're going to need an, uh, a piece of paper, a pencil and your medium of choice. I'm going to be using chalk pastels. I'm going to be using Inscribe chalk pastels, um, but you could use anything you like for this project really. You could use oil pastels, watercolour paints, anything that you have is fine. Um, you're going to need um, a pencil, not a pen. I'm just using a pen so that you can see my drawing clearly. And you're going to need an eraser as well. Um, and a wet wipe or something to clean your fingers as we go along, because it's going to get very, very messy. Okay, let's make a start. So we're going to, first of all, do something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, this is a Marc Chagall painting in chalk pastel. So I'm going to do something like this, but you could create any background for your sky that you wanted to. So if you wanted to do a sunset or a snowy day or a rainy day, whatever you want to do is absolutely fine. Okay, we're going to start with this shape down here, with this sausage shape at the end of the vase. So let's go ahead and start drawing that in. Okay, I'm gonna find my space down here. I want to make sure that it's over in this corner of the paper and then it doesn't take up too much of my room over here. Okay, so we're going to do a sausage shape, okay? So in a nice big curve, curve round, get that sausage shape on there. And then we're going to touch one of the corners of our sausage shape and we're going to come up in a curve something like that and again on the other side don't worry about them being exact 
and then let's join up those two shapes with a nice big smile at the top. And then have a think about what kind of fancy design you want for the handle over here. And don't worry if your handle goes off of the edge of your page. I really like it when things go off the edge of the page. That looks really nice to me. So don't worry if that happens, but let's do a nice fancy design for our handle, if you want to. Anything you like. Nice fancy little design. And then we're going to do something in here, a nice design in here. So I'm going to do some spirals in there, but you could do um, polka dots, squares, love hearts, anything you like. And see if you can get them to look a little bit different each time. So make some of them big, some small, some going off the edge. And then we're going to do the bowl over here, the fruit bowl. Okay, so let's start with that smile down here. So we're going to do a nice curve that kind of fills this gap in here. I've still got space this side and this side of my paper. And then we're going to touch one of the corners of that smile. We're going to come up on a curve that side. And we're going to come up on a curve that side. Okay, don't worry about it being beautiful or exact. And let's close that shape with a nice big smile from one end to the other. And then we're going to draw in the line of the table. So I'm going to start this end. I'm going to draw a line that touches my fruit bowl. I'm going to jump over my fruit bowl. I'm going to continue to my vase, jump over my vase, all the way to the end of the page. Okay, that's enough drawing for now. So let's put away our pencils and I want you to grab those chalk pastels or whatever medium you're using. And I would like you to start with a colour for the vase. Okay, start with a colour for the vase. So my colour for the vase is going to be blue. Okay, I'm going to choose a dark blue. And I'm not going to do the edges of the vase. Instead, I'm going to go around my design those little spirals I'm just going to draw around them and of course it's going to get messy and that's what we want Mark Chagall's paintings weren't neat paintings although he was classically trained as an artist he could do neat paintings if he wanted to but really he enjoyed doing something a little bit messy so don't worry about it being messy mine's very messy and let's put a little bit of colour on our handle as well. So I'm just kind of scribbling it on in places. I'm not too worried about where it's going. I'll do the same for that sausage shape as well. Not worried about where it's going. And then I'm going to switch over to a light blue. So something like this one. And we're going to fill in a little bit with this colour as well. So I'm just scribbling some on the handle here. Uh, scribble some down here. And I'll also add a little bit around my spirals. So you can see I'm just being quite rough with it. I'm just getting the colour on there. We're just having fun with it. We're just going to see what what happens, what it brings. Let's choose a finger and let's just dab it on, dab it on. And we're going to dab into the white spaces as well. Dabbing over the chalk pastel. We don't want to mush it together too much, so we're just dabbing, but we're dabbing into the white spaces as well. So I'll dab along that sausage shape and down the handle as well. Don't worry about going outside of your lines or it being messy. Don't worry about that at all for now. And then I'd like you to find a nice sandy colour or a beigey colour or a light brown or even a dark yellow, something like that. And we're just going to fill in this 
fruit bowl. I'm just scribbling it on so you can see I haven't coloured it in very well because I'm going to choose a finger and I'm going to go over the top and mush it in. I really want to spread the colour around and the colour's going to go outside of my lines and that's okay. And I'm going to get a dark brown and I'm going to add on some lines like this. All different shapes and sizes, some teeny tiny, some like dots and others are like lines and some of them might cross over. So just take your chalk pastel for a little walk and we're going to use a finger and we're going to dab again. Dab, 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 dab. Okay, lovely. So we've got some nice textures coming through these two things, which is looking really nice. So then I want to choose a brown to do the table with, okay? Any brown you like, right? It really doesn't, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to use this one. And I'm just going to scribble some brown on here. Okay, just like that. I don't want very much because my finger is going to mush it all in and then I can sort of see that I've got light parts and dark parts, parts where the white paper is shining through and that's what I want. I want those lovely textures to come through. I don't want it to be neat. We're staying away from it being neat. So if you're a neat person by nature then you might struggle a little bit with this. This might go against your nature but it's good practice. And then let's use that same brown. We're going to press a bit harder now because we want to create some shadows underneath our objects. So you can see I've pressed harder and I've created a nice dark line there. I'll do the same over here. There we go. And I'll use my finger and just very gently smooth it out. Just gently because I don't want to... I don't want to, to fade that dark brown. If I smush it too much, it's going to fade. Okay. Lovely. All right, you might need to clean your fingers now. Mine are getting really disgusting. Get some tissue. All right. So let's have a little bit of fun with some flowers. I'm going to use some nice bright pink, okay, but any colour you like for your flowers is fine. And we're going to start by doing some spirals. So let's choose a place to do our first spiral. I'm going to do mine here. So there I've got my spiral. And then I'm going to do some curves underneath my smi uh, spiral, so like smiles underneath. So I've got some curves there and then I can use a clean finger to very gently go over the top of those and transform it into the shape of a flower. Let's try that again. So I'm going to be a little bit more messy this time. So I'm going to do a spiral. You can see I've done it a bit messier. And then I'm going to kind of scribble some curves on there. And then I'm going to use my finger to go around it. Do another one. You can have them facing in different directions. I've got a little group of three there. Let's do another one over here. Okay, this time I've done a small spiral and really big curves coming around the spiral. So it's going to look like my flowers closed there. Whereas if I do a, a really long or large spiral like this one and shorter curves, then it's going to look like the flower is more open. Let's just have a little bit of fun with this. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to be a little bit more scribbly now. And don't worry if your flowers go right off the page. That's lovely. So 
I'm doing my spiral and then my curts underneath my spiral. You could do it all the way to the top if you like. You could come all the way down here if you like. You could even have one down here as if it's hanging down from the vase. You can be quite creative with these. All right, and then we're going to do some green parts. <sighs> so let's get a light green to start off with, something like that. And let's bring the stalks from the top of the flower down to the vase, from the flower head to the vase, each one. And then we're going to lay our chalk nice and flat like this on the paper. And we're just going to move it around every so often. We're going to create leaf shapes like this. So I'm putting it flat, but I'm picking it up and moving it around. Okay, I want to do lots of these. Okay, so I'm going to speed up a little bit so that you can see what the end result might look like. We especially want lots it right in the middle here, because if you imagine a vase of flowers, well, you've got lots of leaves and activity going on in the centre there, but maybe not so much coming out to the edges. So keep on going and then we're going to switch to a dark green, something like this one, my teeny tiny little baby dark green. That's all I've got left from this packet anyway, this packet of chalk pastels. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to lay it nice and flat like this. We'll pick it up and we're going to move it around. So exactly the same as what we did for the light green. But this time we're going to add the dark green and we don't want to cover all of the light green. Otherwise there wouldn't have been much point putting light green on in the first place. So we're just going to move it around. Creating nice leaf shapes anywhere we want to. We're especially going to add lots of colour in the middle there. And underneath the roses or the flowers, whatever flowers that you have underneath them. Definitely want to get some colour in there. So just like that, so creating lots of different greens there. We've got two greens plus all the greens that have come about from the two colours mixing, plus we're going to use our finger to dab around a little bit and then that's going to create another green as well because we're kind of mushing the two greens together a little bit. Just a little bit, not very much. There we go, that's all too. that'll do. All right, let's clean our fingers and let's get a yellow. Something like this one. Let's come to the flower, um, the fruit bowl down here, and we're going to put on a half circle. And let's colour in that half circle. Let's just scribble some colour in there. We're not colouring it in. We'll find a finger to mush that in. And then with a green, we're going to go around the edge of that yellow half circle like so. And then we can also put in a little moon shape inside that circle as well. And we can go over with our finger, just draw over the top. Let's go again. So just add some colour on there, just scribble it on and then go around with the green and then add a little moon shape. Do another one here, just a little one. Scribble on the colour, use your finger to mush it in, and then add green. 
and let's find a purple okay or um, a color for a grape so a red or a green i'm going to use purple something like that one and i'm going to do some circles so we want small circles large circles and it kind of looks quite childish at the moment but it's not going to stay that way and perhaps the circles are spilling over the edge here Just like that and then we're going to take a finger and just gently dab over the top just gently gently dab over the top there because we still want to see the colors okay let's put on some oranges so I'm going to get a nice bright orange and I'm going to put on some orange half circles and scribble in some color there smush that in and then with a deep red we're going to give it a border just like we did with the apples I'll do that again scribble some color mush it in and give it a border do one more over here don't worry about going into some of your other colours or going over the edges, it's fine. Remember, this is going to be a messy artwork, so we want to embrace getting messy. We're just going to experiment and see what happens. Okay, let's come back to our pencil. We're going to draw in the rest of the window. So, let's come up to the top and we're going to draw a line coming over and then down. Okay, so let's start all the way over at this edge, somewhere close to the top. We're going to come over. Don't worry if it's not a straight line. Mark your goals wasn't, so don't worry if yours isn't either. Let's come all the way down. Okay, mine is definitely not a straight line. And then we're going to put in the first window pane. So we want to do a square or a rectangle really. And I've got just enough space to add in a little rectangle this side, or half a rectangle this side. So you can see it's not quite finished. And we'll do the same over, over here as well. Put in that rectangle and a half a rectangle that side. Okay. And then you need to have a think about what's going to be inside your window, what view we can see. So I'm going to put in a moon, but perhaps yours is a nice sunny day. Perhaps it's snowing, raining. Perhaps it's a sunset. So have a think about what you want to do. And when you've decided, grab the colour or colours that you're going to need. And just scribble them on. Don't worry about going around the edges. Just scribble that colour on and then we're going to use our fingers to smush it all around. Don't worry about going over the edges or anything like that. We want to give that moon or those stars, if you're doing stars, a nice glow. Okay, do the same for in here. I'm just going to scribble it in. I want to be messy on purpose and the scribbling helps me achieve that and now I'm going to choose a colour for my window frame here so let's see I might do a grey but you could do brown or any colour that you like And then we get to choose a colour for our background. I'm just going to give my artwork a little shake here because I've got so much dust now. And then choose a colour for your background. So I've got a lavender colour and it's quite good to have something light. So like a, a yellow or a pale blue or pale orange, pale green. Okay, but something really pale. 
and I'm put it down flat like this and I'm just dragging it around drag 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 now when we come to your flowers you want to come right up against those flowers and in between the grasses and leaves and stalks in between there just scribbling it on I'm not doing it neatly and I'm probably going to pick up some green with my lavender that's okay so I'm getting quite close this side as well and I'm also going to put lavender in between the leaves that I can see have still got some white spaces I'm going to add some of this color to those white spaces Okay, now I'm going to come right up against my vase here and the other side because I want to frame my vase a little bit. I want to put a frame of lavender around it and I can also get all those bits of blue that went outside my edges. I can get those as well. And then right up against the line of my vase. And then I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to smush this all around. And when you've finished, if you want to add another colour to your background or add more of the same colour, then you can do that. You can work in layers, layer it over a little bit. And there you have a lovely little Marc Chagall painting in chalk pastel. I hope that you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave me a review on Facebook or Google and send me the photos of your finished artwork. I love receiving everyone's emails and Facebook messages. So send that over to me. Um, I hope that you had fun and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.